When it comes time to get the results of a job, how you do that kind of depends on what you're after. Let's take a look at job ID number three that I've created here, which ran against at least two computers. Uh, looks like that's all it ran against was two computers. If I receive the results of job ID three, then I'll get the results from both of those computers. I might, however, only want to go in and get one computer's results out right now. And in order to do that, I'm going to need to get the ID number that went with one of those different computers. So the parent ID job is three, but there's a child ID for each one of these sub jobs. Uh, and there's one sub job for each computer that was contacted. The easiest way to do that is to say get job ID three, that's the parent job. Then ask select object to expand the child jobs property. That will create the same kind of list with just the child jobs. So now that I know job ID number four was for server R2, I can say receive job ID four, and I'll get just the results from that particular job.